guys and happy new year Max is very excited about the new year he's popcorning and Lulu wants her space <laughs> Oh, poor Max, he wants to popcorn and all of the girls just push him away. Max, perfectly tidy, is currently in the washing machine, which is why the big dog bed is in the guinea pig's cage currently. Um, but don't you worry, Max, in about, I think, perhaps... I'm going to put it on the radiator when it's done in the washing machine. In probably around five hours, you can have your Heidi back. But it really needed a wash because all of the guinea pigs are obsessed with the Heidi. And you know what happens when guinea pigs spend a lot of time <laughs> in Heidi's. The guinea pigs did really well on New Year's Eve, by the way. Um, Nugget is just destroying a house. Part of that was because they didn't allow fireworks where I live. Um, so was, there was a complete ban on the selling of any fireworks. And if you still had some leftover from last year, I don't think you were allowed to actually start them on a public street or anything. In any case, there was still some fireworks, but there was very little um, in comparison to other years. So the guinea pigs really weren't that fast by New Year's Eve at all. Um, they had a very calm and undisturbed night. Uh, you pretty much didn't hear anything here. Um, I had some herbs for them, which they liked, and some forage. So they had a pretty good start into the new year. This was the first year that we didn't really do anything with friends, um, so it was just us and the piggies this year, so just everyone who lives in this apartment, which was also nice, because this was the first year that we actually only spent time with the guinea pigs, who were super happy that someone was still talking to them and <laughs> bringing them food after 12 o'clock. I also want to say that apparently Lumi has a New Year's resolution um, because you, if you've watched the videos you may know that Lumi gets constantly pushed around by all of the guinea pigs, especially Nugget. And today Lumi was sleeping on the upper level and we just heard the biggest noise. We both ran into the living room to check out what was going on and apparently Lumi was sleeping upstairs and Nugget really wanted her space. And Nugget really wanted to sleep up there as well, so Nugget started pushing Lumi and Lumi, for the first time ever, started pushing back. And so these two were fighting upstairs, so they were both angrily teeth chattering while walking down the ramp, so in the end both of them ended up not being on the upper level. So you can't really say that any of them won, but that was definitely the first time that Lumi ever pushed back and actually stood up to Nugget. I think Nugget was a bit shocked, but Lumi was so angry, she just kept teeth chattering and chasing Nugget and I don't know, that, that might be a new Lumi that we're seeing this year or maybe Lumi has finally realized that she's twice the size as Nugget. <laughs> Not really sure, but yeah, Lumi stood up for herself. Max, on the other hand here, is pushed around a lot by Nugget. He still needs to learn to really stand up for himself. He's just very good-natured, so if Nugget pushes him, he just kind of ignores it and happily popcorns off. Max! Max, do we need another Max Fitz cam? I feel like we do, because you just fit into that tunnel and it looks great. Nugget is exploring the pet bed. Nugget, you look very adorable. 
I also wanted to ask you to comment down video ideas, um, especially for the Saturday videos. So if there's any kind of video you particularly like to see or any fun idea that you have, just comment it down below. Um, I always do that at the beginning of the new year to kind of collect all of the ideas that I have for the year. So I thought I'd ask you as well. Um, and then I just write all of that down on a list. And then I always refer back to that list during the year. Uh-oh. Are we seeing part two of the upstairs fight? There's Nugget and there's Lumi who just woke up. Nugget gave up, is coming downstairs, and Lumi comes down and says as well. <laughs> Lumi is teeth chattering, just to be safe. <laughs> Lumi is always in a bad mood when she wakes up. <laughs> And she's in a better mood. <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> the funny thing is, while I'm filming the entire time, Max is just standing here and trying to get up here and put his paws up here and he's just trying to get my attention and he has so much fur that when I'm putting the camera on the plexiglass here and filming the guinea pigs, sometimes I just have hair randomly on the lens <laughs> because there's just so much of it. And someone managed to destroy the grass tunnel. <laughs> Lumi's kind of surprised by that as well. Don't really know. That must have happened while I was looking. Didn't notice it. When Max was still in there and we filmed the Max Fitz camp, the small tunnel was still attached to the bigger tunnel. <laughs> Max is still waiting. He just wants to do stuff. Also, I keep seeing questions about the free roaming situation. So I just wanted to briefly mention for like the couple of days of holidays and then um, for New Year's Eve, we actually put the bridge back inside the cage and kind of disassembled the free ranging area outside um, because we weren't home for two days and we had someone look after the guinea pigs. Um, so we didn't feel comfortable with just having them free roam when someone else is watching after them. Um, as you know, they are allowed to free roam when I'm home all of the time. Um, since we weren't home and someone was just looking after them twice a day, I didn't really want them to just be on their own um, the entire day and just get up to nonsense as they do. So we decided to put the bridge back in. If you've seen the video of Lumi escaping and like jumping over the gate, she hasn't repeated that. Um, I think one of the reasons why she did that was because the tower was outside and also the free ranging area was outside and then to make matters more interesting, a lot of the guinea pigs toys that they got for the overwhelming my guinea pigs with presents video were also outside, so a lot of that stuff didn't fit in the cage. Um, so a lot of that was just stored outside uh, while the guinea pigs were inside. So I think that was definitely one of the reasons why Lumi really wanted to escape. So she just really wanted to play with all the toys and everything. When we weren't here for two days, we actually put all of the stuff away, also put the fleece liners away and put the bridge back inside the cage. And I think that made a lot of difference. Um, None escaped, Lumi didn't either, so all that they need, all that they're used to is back inside their cage um, and I think that did the trick. And also there is nothing of a fabulous smell outside of the cage anymore. Um, before that some of the hay Heidi's were outside. Um, so I think that worked really well. We could definitely put all of the fleece liners and the castle outside again, but for the past two weeks it was just really impractical um, because I wasn't home all day. So we'll see. I don't really know what the situation is going to be. Um, I'm currently thinking that home office will continue, but you know, I just... The free-ranging situation is going to adapt to the state of affairs <laughs> outside of this apartment. Max is wicking and now Gatsby is getting nervous. Well, in any case, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!